Turned out to be a nice day, but tonight flooding continues to be a problem in parts of Arkansas. That's where we start tonight at 6. I'm Roly Hoyt. Faith has the night off. After our brush with Beryl last week and yesterday's heavy rains, thousands of people are still cleaning up from what the water left behind, many of them lacking flood insurance. THV 11's Rebecca Brown traveled to Faulkner County to learn about what leaders there are doing to help keep people's heads above water. Document everything, um, make lists, and take pictures, and keep those pictures. Many in Arkansas have firsthand experience with flood waters, especially people in Faulkner County. Wednesday's heavy rain damaged homes and businesses in the area. We know there, there are families displaced and uh, others that, although they may not be displaced, still have home damage, property damage to their cars, their homes, uh, their outbuildings, and so forth. Lots of rain in a very, very short period of time. I don't recall in my life here ever seeing that. Although roads and streets are back open, the damage sustained is hard to repair and insurance may not cover the cost. But Faulkner County Judge Alan Dotson says they're working on a solution. It's very important that you contact Faulkner County Office of Emergency Management to let them know about that damage. And I'll tell you why. If the state and the county qualify for state and or federal assistance, it's important that you have reported that property damage. So that helps us to meet that threshold uh, to make some of those funds available. That money could provide relief to Conway businesses like B&B Creations. Just out of nowhere, it just hit us. And I think within 15 minutes, the whole bakery was flooded. Co-owner Beata Berzik says this is every business owner's worst dream, and it took hours to clean up. That's not something that we ever planned on or expected. Or I mean, downtown Conway floods quite often as most people in this area know, and we've had puddles here and there, but never to that extreme uh -oh. that fast. After hours of cleanup, buckets of water, and help from her staff and husband, Berzik says they opened the shop back up on Thursday. We were very grateful. We were growing slowly but surely, and we absolutely love it. In Conway, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News.